You could say, what, one win for Jack Lou? Well, not quite yet, Betty, but you could effectively say that Jack Lou has blown up this deal, at least for the moment. Uh, we are still waiting for final word from Abvi, but what it said in its uh, notice this morning, its statement, was that it was uh, effectively going to reconsider the deal in part because of the changes in tax law, uh, tax rules that Jack Lou announced back on September 22nd. And uh, this caught investors by surprise. You saw the sell off of Shire shares overseas in London today, uh, biggest drop in 12 years for the company. Again, not everyone expected this would happen because just about a month ago, uh, Abvi told its uh, employees that this deal would move forward. And what this suggests is, again, companies are having second thoughts once they get a closer look at exactly what the implications are from these tax rule changes. And we've seen some spillover effect as well, Betty, on the shares of uh, other drug makers that could be inversion targets. Uh, AstraZeneca, for example, uh, out there just being one, also feeling some pressure today because of uh, this action by Abvi. Again, not a done deal. They're reassessing. Uh, there's a $1.6 billion breakup fee if this deal does blow apart. Uh, but uh, obviously, big, big news on the tax front, on the inversion front, uh, coming from AbV and Shire. Uh, it, it is. Now, are we going to get any reaction, Peter, from the Treasury Department? Uh, I would not expect any. The Treasury doesn't comment on specific deals, but you'll remember back on the 22nd of September, Jack Lew, uh, in his comments to reporters, predicted that there would be some companies that reassess, reevaluate whether these trans transactions should move forward, and that was exactly what the Treasury was hoping for. They wanted to send a message. They wanted to get stop some of these deals in their tracks if they could, but more importantly, send a message to others considering this in the first place. All right. Uh, and just one more thing, uh, Peter, could, could the Treasury Department uh, actually go a little bit further in trying to target more of these inversions? Absolutely, Betty. We heard uh, back on the 22nd that the Treasury, that these were simply the first steps in its efforts to try and limit inversions or make them less financially attractive. And so we've been waiting for word on what else they might do. Specifically, Betty, what happened in this instance was uh, uh, they put limits on what's called hopscotch loans, the ability for companies to access foreign earnings and loan it to the, uh, uh, the new foreign entity. That's what happened here. That's why this deal is not nearly as attractive.